Do you know what to do with your arms when you walk? Do you feel like your arms and your hands are just out of sync with the rest of your body? In this video, we're going to talk about arm swing while walking so you can walk properly no matter where you are. So if you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. I was in Osaka, Japan recently, walking around and seeing the sights. One morning, I was walking behind a guy who was walking like this. Did that look weird to you? Good, it should. His arms and hands were completely out of sync with his steps. In normal, relaxed walking gait, your elbows don't really need to do that much. Instead, you should have a slight bend in your elbows and your arms should swing. Notice that there isn't a huge change of arm or elbow position. It's a small change of a few degrees forward and back. This is of course not the same as what your arms do when you are sprinting. When sprinting, you will see a lot more arm swing and a lot more elbow bend. But in walking and even jogging, your arms don't really need to move that much. If you see your arms moving a lot, you may have picked up this habit at an age when you weren't really conscious of what you were doing. Or you may have injured your lower body or have had a bad case of Aye! atrophy induced immobility. If your legs are a bit weak and dysfunctional, you may be using your arms to create more forward momentum it's not a bad strategy if you've twisted your ankle in the desert and you have to get to water, but if you want less shoulder, neck, back, hip, and knee pain, just stop it. Seriously, stop it. Here's how. Set up your phone or a fancy pants camera to film yourself while walking. If you see your elbows bending a lot, or you see one or both of your arms swinging more than a few degrees, take a breath and remember our mantra around here, ATM, always think muscles. Muscles move bones, and if your bones are moving in ways you don't intend or desire, you have to address the organs of movement, your muscles. So now let's do something to try to help you reprogram your gait. Don't set up the camera for this next part. Mentally tell yourself, no arm swing at all. Then try walking with zero arm swing and zero arm movement. This might feel stiff, awkward, and unnatural. But if you notice yourself twisting and trying to throw a shoulder or a hip forward, it's important to pay attention to. If you notice this happening, you know that the arm stuff is coming from dysfunction that you should start trying to suss out. Now allow your elbows to bend slightly. Don't let the upper arms move while you walk. This will also feel stiff, awkward, and a little unnatural. Again, if you notice yourself starting to twist and turn, note it so you can suss it out later. Now for the next part, loosen up your neck, loosen up your shoulders. Allow your upper arms to swing freely for a few degrees. Don't put in extra effort to swing some extra amount that you think is necessary. Just allow it to happen in a relaxed way. And you'll notice that your arm on the right swings a little forward as you take a step forward with the left leg and vice versa. It should be contralateral swing and just a small amount. Now this might still feel awkward because you aren't used to it and that's okay. Remember, we aren't trying to use extra effort in your walk. Your walk should be relaxed and easy. By going through this set of drills, we're trying to get you to stop using any unnecessary unconscious effort in your walking. We just want to be able to relax, let the arms gently swing in a normal rhythm that's synced up to your legs. This is perfection through subtraction. I want to say thanks to the following people for their generous donations with the thanks button on YouTube. Nader and Anna both gave $50 with the thanks button on YouTube. You guys rock. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to support this channel too, please use the thanks button or the join button on YouTube or find me on Patreon or PayPal with the links you'll find in the description box. Thank you so much for your support. It helps me make videos that help you. Now let's get back to it. Somewhere along the line, you made a conscious or unconscious decision to use a lot more arm swing than necessary and this process will help you remove all that extra effort. Now that you understand what you're trying to do, you can go ahead and film yourself and check out the difference between what you were doing before and what you're doing now. Again, if you notice that you're twisting and swinging or limping, you wanna suss that out so that doesn't keep driving you into some weird 
compensatory arm swing pattern. I've got a video that'll help you understand how to break things down to fix a limp. I will link to it in the description box. I'm also curious to hear how this whole thing feels for you. What did you notice when you went through the drills in this video? Are your arms swinging symmetrically? Are you doing some funky stuff with your elbows? Drop me a comment down below. Walking should feel smooth and easy, and if it doesn't, check out the other links I'll put in the description box to help you walk better. And if you're looking for a program to help you rebuild your body at home, head to uprighthealth.com DIY to find a program that will work for you. For videos to help you with your walk, check these out here. To support this channel, become a Patreon patron or use the donate link in the description box or use the join and thanks buttons on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, remember, pain sucks. Life shouldn't.